There's never been a more important time to keep your iPhone secure. Now, in 2025, we've seen an increase in the number of hackers and specifically ones that are targeting your iPhone. I'm gonna walk you through a number of different things you need to do on your iPhone to make sure it's secure as possible and hackers can't get into it. Now, let's head into the settings here and we'll do almost everything in the settings itself. We'll start from the very top. Let's tap on your name at the very top. And you can see this is your Apple account. The very first thing I would recommend doing is tapping on where it says sign in and security. Now, this will basically show you emails, phone numbers, your security, recovery contacts. The very first thing we'll do is tap on two factor authentication. We want to make sure this is turned on. This is one of the most important things you can do in case someone else is trying to get into your device. They need to authenticate it both by knowing the password as well as a phone number or another device. So on here, you can see I have my trusted phone number on here. Keep in mind, you can add a phone number, you can add another device, and you can even set up security keys if you want a security key to a physical dongle that will basically show you a string of numbers that will allow you to get into your phone. And if you don't have it, AKA a hacker, they can't get into your device. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is you can see towards the bottom there is recovery contacts. Now you can tap on here and you can see I've added a recovery contact. This is really important essentially to make sure that if you lose access to your phone, that recovery contact can help you get into your device even if you don't know the password or hacker got in and changed your password without your permission. You can see at the very top it says a recovery contact can help you generate a code that helps you get into your device. So just hit add a recovery contact and then add contact. And then on here, just choose someone, maybe it'll su suggest or recommend someone, but you can hit choose someone else at the very bottom if you don't wanna add those specific people. Now, all right, we've added basically two-factor authentication and a recovery key. I would also recommend tapping on legacy contact here and adding a legacy contact in case you don't have access to your phone. This is again, another person that will help you be able to get into your device and your account. Now, after we've done all of these things, we're gonna go back out of here and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. One of the things that's really important to check are the devices that are connected to your Apple account. So you can see Trevor here, iPhone 16 Pro, and a MacBook Pro. If I tap on it, it says this device is trusted and can receive Apple account verification codes. So all of the devices on here, you need to make sure those are devices that you recognize. If they're past devices that you don't use anymore or you sold or you gave away, you need to hit that remove account at the very bottom to remove that device as a trusted device associated with your Apple account. Now, after we've done that, let's go back out of here and we're gonna tap on where it says iCloud, midway down. Once we're in the iCloud, you can see if I scroll down, there are a couple of really important things. One is advanced data protection. I can tap on this and it says iCloud encrypts your data to keep it secure. Advanced data protection uses end-to-end -end encryption to make sure all of your data that's stored on the iCloud photos, text messages, all that stuff is secure. So just hit turn on advanced data protection and then go through this process of setting it up. Again, this is really important to keep all of your iCloud data nice and secure. Now let's also go back here and you can see private relay. Now this isn't necessarily clear immediately what it is, but essentially this is turning on a built-in VPN on your iPhone. Just by toggling this on essentially means your iPhone web and internet activity, your app activity will be routed through a VPN and then to that specific website or whatever. But again, by going through a VPN, make sure that any malicious data or websites or anything like that that you're accessing it essentially has to go through that VPN server and then to your phone and it adds another layer of anonymity as well as protection. Now, after we've done that, let's just go back out of here because we're done in that section, but we're not done completely because we're going to scroll down and there's a whole section called face ID and passcode. 
Let's tap on that. You're just going to enter in the passcode for your device here. And now a couple of things. Let's scroll down towards the bottom and you can see stolen device protection. Tap on this and it says this adds another layer of security in the event that your iPhone is stolen. Now this sometimes is turned off by default, but essentially turning this on, it says on here, find my iPhone has to be turned on as well. So make sure that is turned on, but I would recommend stolen device protection, always enable this to make sure that if your device is stolen, there are a number of different things, including needing to be at a known location or a common location to make any sort of changes. Now, there are other things as well. If we scroll down here, you can see allow access when locked. And a big one is control center. So let's say you leave your, your phone somewhere on a you know countertop at a restaurant and someone gets your phone, but it's locked. If they don't know the password, they can't get into your phone. However, if they can swipe down from the top right and tap on that airplane button, that means essentially they've disabled your phone's access to iCloud, to your Apple ID, even if you log in on another device and try to find it using Find My iPhone, it won't be able to find it because the airplane mode is turned on. Again, also, if you want to erase your device, it won't let you because that's turned on. So this is a really big one. Let's turn off Control Center. Make sure anyone that doesn't have your password can't access your Control Center. Let's go down as well, and you can see erase data. This says erase all data on this iPhone after 10 failed passcode attempts. So you want to make sure to turn this on. Essentially, if someone is trying to brute force their way into your iPhone just by guessing a bunch of random passcodes, after 10 passcodes that are failed, your iPhone will just automatically erase all data. Keep in mind, all that data will still be on your iCloud. If you get a new iPhone, you can just restore all that data onto your new iPhone. But whoever got access to your old iPhone, maybe someone stole it or you left it somewhere, they won't be able to get access to that data. Now, after we've done that, let's just go back out of here and we'll scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps. Now, from here, we're going to scroll down until we find mail, because this is a really big culprit in terms of people sending you emails that then have a malicious link in there, and then they get access or hack into your device. So all you're going to do from here is scroll down, and you can see privacy protection. Tap on that. And you can see protect mail activity. Make sure this is turned on. It says mail privacy protection works by hiding your IP address and loading remote content privately in the background. So make sure you turn this on. Again, this is another thing that's really important to protect your privacy when viewing emails so that a hacker can't get into your iPhone through an email or through a malicious link in an email. The last thing I would recommend doing is making sure everything is up to date. So let's go all the way back out of here, tap on general and software update. Just update to the latest iOS operating system. You can see it's iOS 18.2.1 right now. Just update to the latest version because as we see at the very top here, you can see security responses and system files is turned on. And essentially by updating it, you'll make sure that you have the most secure iOS operating system. Keep in mind, every time they come out with a new iOS operating system, they look for bugs or vulnerabilities in the iPhone operating system and help patch those or fix them so that no one can hack into your device. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.